What's up, you guys? It's Matt here. So Jasmine Coin is taking a little bit of a hit today. After seeing a little bit of a run up, it's now back down to under that 60% of a penny level. And we did see Ethereum that was running quite a bit uh, today, but we're now seeing that, you know, Ethereum is starting to pull back just a little bit. But, um, you know, it, it's still great to see any type of movement, even if, you know, you see that pullback. That's pretty aggressive overall for ethereum like positions like a jasmine or like a shiba inu coin so i wanted to talk about jasmine today not necessarily go through the entire update here but go through like whether i believe it's going to hit a dollar there's a lot of people that have asked me this question like whether i think it's going to hit a dollar and i know that's maybe a tricky question or tricky answer because um yes you can see it at a level of a dollar it's not a ridiculous market cap it's like a 50 billion dollar market cap which is not insane but for some cryptocurrencies, they may not have the ability to get there unless they have that clearer picture, clearer path to do so. Uh, so before we get into this, make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell for more of these videos. Also, make sure you check out any of the links that are down below. It does help out the channel. And if you want to follow me on Twitter, follow me on Patreon. Those links are also in the description. Um, don't forget, if you guys want to sign up for MargeX, they don't offer Jasmine on MargeX right now, but... I will talk to them and see if they can find a way to offer things like Terra Luna Classic and Jasmine Coin. I feel like those two will be huge. Jasmine Coin being at a $290 million market cap with so many millions of dollars in volume while also seeing Terra Luna Classic and you know the hundreds of millions of dollars that that does. I feel like those two would be great for that platform. And especially if you guys uh, want to um you know leverage any of your cryptocurrency trades you can do that um and i know there's not a lot of places you can do that in the us so if you guys do want to check out uh margex feel free to go and check it out it's a pretty good platform as well um you can trade right now shiba inu and pepe and doge and xrp and all of those things and trade it on maybe a 25 to 100x uh margin so definitely go ahead and check that out if you guys are interested i'll include that link down below in the description but Let's talk about Jasmine Coin because Jasmine Coin is currently standing at 0 0.005884. It's down, um, you know, 3.5% on the day. We are seeing $93 million in volume. It's up in volume because we're seeing, you know, that positive move as well as that negative move for the last 24 hours. Um, you could see how this did run up in the beginning of the day or the beginning of the last 24 hours. Uh, you could see that it did run up to a level of 65% of a penny which honestly is amazing, right? I was up $2,500 at that point because I invested at 40% of a penny. So obviously going to 65% of a penny, you're adding on 25% of a penny. So that's gonna be $2,500 with my million Jasmine coin that I do hold. Um, so it's recently has taken a little bit of a dive today. And the reason why I guess it's uh, taken a little bit of a dive, we did see that increase and the increase really came from um, from Ethereum. Ethereum was running up. Ethereum ran up from like the $2,200 mark all the way up to like 23, like mid 23s. Um, and now it's, it's up 3.9% uh, or sorry, 2.9%. Um, overall, actually it's, it's showing me 3.8% here. It might end up updating, but 3.8%, uh, it did rise up to a level of again, that mid 2350, right? So uh, 2300 uh, mark. And uh, we see this now kind of hovering between that mark there. And as we saw a lot of other things that were running, or we saw Ethereum running, we saw everything else that started to pick up as well. We saw Shiba Inu that was making a little bit of a move. We saw uh, Jasmine Coin that was making a little bit of a move. However, um, this hasn't had that trickle down effect to those yet. So all of those were making a move early on, then started to dive a little bit. And then Ethereum is running in the opposite direction. And then you'll have that trickle down to other things within the network. So right now you're seeing Ethereum up at the top point. Um, you may see it level out and some of that money may flow outward, which that's why you're seeing the peaks and valleys that are there. Um, and a lot of that money will flow into other Ethereum like positions that are lower level, that don't cost as much, that have more potential maybe to run with with a 2x, 3x, 5x, 10x, or whatever. Um, but Ethereum may only have that short term or technically the, the long term that people would look at. Um, 
withholding this for a very, very long time to see what it ends up turning into and how the use cases thrive and everything there. But short term, you might only see maybe a 2x or 3x if possible. It's more of a consistent gainer, especially with the ETFs and everything that's supposed to happen with that. But when you flow back over to uh, Jasmine Coin, you're going to see that things looked kind of the, the opposite there, where uh, it has decreased over the last 24 hours when Ethereum has increased. And the reason why is because everything really hit Jasmine coin. And as you had those gains, people are taking some of those gains and throwing them into a position like Ethereum. And then it's kind of a like a never ending cycle where it goes from lower end position to higher end, to pos higher end position to lower end position to higher end position and things of that nature. Um, anyways, this is not even supposed to be an update video. What I want to talk to you guys about is more about Jasmine coin and whether it can get to a level of a dollar. So um, for Jasmine coin, it's currently at a level of three or $289 million uh, worth of a market cap. You see that you have majority of the supply that's out there, 49.3 billion coins that are out there in the uh, total supply. Um, the max supply is 50 billion. So literally having majority of the coins that are out there, 98, 99%. So with that being said, can it find a way to increase to a level of a dollar at a 49 billion coin supply? Yes, it can find a way to get to a dollar. However, people need to see that opportunity in getting there. If you look at the history from where this has been, what is the highest point that it's been to? It's been to a $4 price point. So most people will look at it and go, it can get back to $4. No, the dilution definitely, um, you know, put like a huge hole in this where people um, think that you can fill that hole, but you can't fill that hole because it has so much supply compared to what it had in the beginning. So that's why you saw that dilution while you had maybe 1 billion coin supply and it gets to a $1 billion market cap, right? That's a $1 price point. Or you had a 300 million coin supply and it gets to a $1 billion market cap. Well, now you have basically a $3 price point, something like that. But Right now, with 49 billion coins in supply, it's going to take a lot of effort to get back there. So what's the highest point that we reached to? The highest point we reached to was a one point, uh, $1.14 uh, billion dollar market cap. And honestly, this can get back to those levels, but I think it can go so much further with the amount of holders and the amount of believers, the amount of attention that it has garnered um, over this last like bear market it didn't even get the chance to actually express itself and thrive to the levels that it was supposed to thrive to, right? Uh, 2 billion, 3 billion, $10 billion. No one has seen that yet. And I believe that it can definitely get there, especially as people are seeing the opportunity within just the investment side of it without understanding the use case side of it. So I really do think that it has a potential, uh, a strong potential to get to a dollar, but I think people need to baby step their ways into this because as it gets to a level of five cents and 10 cents and 25 cents and 30, and 50 cents, you're going to see retracements and you're going to see people that maybe not, uh, maybe don't believe in the play. And I think you need to set yourself up for uh, taking profit at some of these levels. It doesn't have to be all your profit, but at least some so that you can baby step your way into accepting whatever that dollar amount is, whether it's a dollar or even $2 in that time period. So that's my breakdown. Hopefully you guys understand that. Make sure you guys hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more videos like this one. Also, make sure you check out any of the links that are down below. If you guys want to sign up for MarGex, remember, uh, make sure you click that link that's in the description. You can sign up for it, start leverage trading on things like uh, Shiba Inu, on Ethereum, on Dogecoin, Pepe, and all that other type of stuff. So I'm going to get out of here, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.